Hello, everybody. Welcome back to American Truck Simulator once again. Today, doing something fun. Uh, we're leaving Bristol, Tennessee. Uh, that's where they were racing over the weekend uh, in iRacing. And we're going to take this car back to Charlotte uh, is what we're doing today using the Coast to Coast mod. Uh, we have the default SES 389. Uh, we're using a Cat C15 engine sound, which isn't that bad, actually. I'm going to go ahead and fire it up for you so you can hear it. Beginning route navigation. I'm sure we are. There we go. And we're using a Featherlight trailer uh, that you can find on the Steam Workshop. Very easy to find. Just type in NASCAR and it'll pop up or Featherlight, one of the two. One thing that's really cool about this trailer is when you put the truck into reverse, you'll see those uh, little lights on the side come on and they light up the ground. I like that little addition. Pretty darn cool. Um, the skin pack for not only the 389, but also the trailer. Uh, you just type in NASCAR again on the Steam Workshop and you'll find it no problem. Well, popular demand asked for it. Here is the wheel cam once again. If you guys want to know what I use, I use a uh, next level racing uh, GT track cockpit setup. Uh, I've got the TSPC racer from Thrustmaster, the Sparco uh, rim add on the R383. I use an ASP heavy hauler button box. And for my shifter, I'm using a Simu Shift shifter uh, with that TH8A Thrustmaster uh, shifter on the bottom. So the Simu Shift sits on top and it uh, behaves like a real truck. Pretty darn cool, right? Let's push our parking brake in and we're going to get rolling on out of here. We got a 18 speed and uh, it's going to be rush hour. I put uh, DP's traffic mod back in so we'll, we'll be able to... Um, to experience that a little bit and the sun should be pretty much on the horizon in the evening time so we'll get a little bit of night driving here uh before too long uh once we get to charlotte so if everything pans out okay here after traffic and all that we should be showing up to charlotte right when the sun goes down which is ideal and we'll roll our windows down too i want you to hear this sound set it's actually really well done um i i don't know much about the cat c15 to be perfectly honest with you so i don't know how realistic it is but it sounds pretty darn good to me. All right, through magic of editing, I don't have to make you sit through the traffic like I had to sit there and wait. We finally got a break in the road. Let's go, people. Let's go. No more messing around. So we're driving a virtual NASCAR hauler, so it's only fitting that uh, we talk about some virtual NASCAR. How about that? Have you guys been watching the iRacing uh, Pro Invitational series on Fox Sports 1? my gears here uh, I've been watching all of them and uh, Bristol was an absolute mess absolute mess I think we're starting to see the drivers that are taking it serious versus the ones who are not taking it serious at all let's roll our windows up here I shall let you listen to the uh, Jake break first before we do that uh, let me get it up to speed there we go not too bad right I'll right, we'll roll these windows up because we can and there we go they're all the way up somebody said that uh, it reminds them of their ears popping it was Schubert that said that but uh, the uh, whenever you roll the windows up like you know that sound that the pressure difference when you're on the highway I was like that is actually right yes I agree with that um, continuing on what we were talking about so with uh, Bubba Wallace which is a uh, NASCAR driver uh, he lost his sponsorship over that race and uh, it's a con controversial thing because people are talking about, you know, this not being real. Uh, and then when they get back to real racing and, you know, and it just goes to show that some guys that are taking this really serious, their sponsors are too. Uh, you know, no matter what, across the board, the ratings are on television uh, and the sponsors are there. You've, you've got advertisers, you know, they're doing, uh, I'm going to set my cruise control. Uh Actually, you know what? I'm going to go into eight high and then set my cruise control. That's what I'm going to do. Oop, hello. Pay attention to what we're doing. Hitting wake her up or see her. Um, so it's 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 a tough call to say. But in my opinion, you know, if you're broadcasting this on Fox Sports 1, you have the, you know, advertisers there. You have your, uh, oh, yeah, everybody's slowing down here. I think we have to get off the highway up here anyway. So I'm just going to get in this lane. I do believe so. Down to eight low. Um, you know, when they have uh, that much money riding on it, if you're not taking it serious, then I can understand where, uh, you know, Blue Emo is coming with that one. Uh, because 
it wasn't even like eight, nine laps into the race and uh, he had quit out of the game. So they're not getting any exposure. Uh, and, you know, a lot of the smaller drivers and smaller teams and smaller sponsors are getting a lot of TV time right now because they're shining really well on the iRacing platform. All right, you didn't miss out on anything. Windows uh, just minimized randomly to my desktop. That was cool. Thank you, Windows. We do appreciate it. Windows 10, always looking out for you. Just kidding. <laughs> Nobody getting on the highway there. Sweet. That'll work for me. So I see the, you know, both sides of the coins. There's people that are talking about, um, you know, it's just a game. And then there's people that are like, well, I mean, they're going to find drivers that will take it serious. So I don't know. And yet Fox is doing a very difficult thing, which is trying to make light of situations and have fun and also present racing. So it's, it's interesting, but Homestead in Texas were awesome. Uh, this one, not so much. Don't mind those red textures. We are still on beta 137, and I don't think uh, the real company uh, mod is working with that too well. To be perfectly honest with you. Here on Highway 77. I feel like we're in Tennessee. So, uh, by the way, we left Bristol, which is where Bristol's pretty much located because they don't have it. We're going to have to stop, aren't we? I bet you. Oh, we get the bypass. All right. Um, but Kingsport's in there, which is right next to Bristol, Tennessee. So that's where we left. So we are in Tennessee, and we're going to Charlotte, North Carolina. North Carolina. And they're going to Richmond. Ooh, hello. He was slowing down big time. Welcome to North Carolina. There we are. Uh, they're going to Richmond next. So we could go to Richmond, but they don't have Richmond really in the coast-to-coast -coast map. They have uh, Norfolk instead. So that'd be fun to do. Maybe we'll do this once in a while, you know, do some virtual hauler runs. Uh, okay, they're all just stopped there. That's scary. Keep right. Yeah, we're exiting, going to Statesville. Okay. Let's go ahead and downshift into that. Use our Jake brake. And uh, another cool thing is we might see this while we're out and about, but uh, when you have the Featherlight trailer mod uh, enacted or active, in America Truck Sim, you'll see them in uh, traffic. You'll see other NASCAR haulers, which is cool. I'm going to keep those in uh, for runs like this because we would see them in this area. So I thought that'd be kind of cool. Uh, I don't know if we'll see one, but we might. There's no voodoo magic happening there. I just literally installed the mod and activated it off the Steam Workshop. Very simple. You know, the uh, old SES 389, it's a bad rap. For being a default truck but uh when you have a good sound set with it it's it's very enjoyable it's well done i do like it i try to make this as uh, close as i could to kurt's uh hauler kurt bush's hauler that's the, the one we are driving today with a monster energy uh there's ones for denny hamlin ones for uh chase elliott there's a few and those are just the you know the trailer textures and then we can get their rigs that they actually use. So I actually used the 389 with the old style headlights on it because that's what the real one looks like. Although the real hauler has a huge sleeper on it. It's a flat top sleeper. This one just doesn't have that big of a sleeper on it. That's the only difference. I'm going to stay in this lane because with coast to coast, usually, all right, yeah, usually get that happening. Look at all the trucks. Getting closer to rush hour traffic. South to Charlotte. That's what we want. Yes, indeed. So we were uh, talking with our friends from St. Louis. And St. Louis is not a hot spot city right now. So it's really not... Uh, I mean, let's be honest. We all need to be you know, careful and, and take this stuff real serious that's going on in the world. Um, but our, our two friends uh, from St. Louis and their two kids... They're older kids. Uh, they uh, might be coming down. They're, they've uh, been in quarantine for a while, and uh, they might just come down and visit for a week or two or kind of ride out quarantine with us for a little while and escape the uh, insanity of being stuck in a uh, apartment together, all four of them. Uh, so that might happen this uh, upcoming week, which I think would be fine. 
they're just going to drive literally through the night, no stops, uh, except for gas, and then, you know, be careful on that, but literally not going to be messing around and come down here and hang out with us. That, that'd be nice, you know? That really would. Use the left After all this time we've been spent straight. alone, it'd be good to have some friends to say hello. And break up the monotony because right now we're kind of getting into routines, you know, it's like Groundhog's Day. Can you relate? Groundhog's Day? It has been like that a little bit. Okay. Yeah, this this hauler is awesome, man. I'll roll the windows down when we get closer to uh, Charlotte, by the way. And by the way, yeah, I plan on, uh, I think I'll just keep the wheel cam up as long as you guys want to actually I might put a straw poll in and see what y'all think if we should keep the uh, wheel cam or not I get a lot of requests for it now that I did it for so long so I, I personally like it okay I gotta slow down here you're going east to Greensboro There we go. Make sure we don't tip our uh, our race car back there in that trailer. The thing about this uh, Featherlight trailer is, man, it is a little tough to uh, to navigate when you're backing it up. I think it's because of that split axle, like that big gap that it has in between it. I think that's the reason why. Another reason why I chose the Monster Energy uh, one first was because... I get asked that question too. Who's my favorite NASCAR driver? It's Kurt Busch. And uh, I thought that would be fitting. And it's a great looking rig, man. The Monster Energy with the black and green just looks awesome. Let's be honest. Can't find it, grind it. Oh, Van, you are going to do that to us, aren't you? Are you oh, you're going to let us on? No, they thought they're going to be that dude. Thanks, dude. Wow. Oh, my. I need to get over. Thank you. I know it's tough. Put it into gear. That might be helpful, right? Oh, my lord. I can't get it to stay into gear. Um, can't find a grind it like we've always said. Let's get over here. Yep, the sun is going down in the town. This should be a pretty tricky drop off. We're going to the shop, uh, and that is our garage here in Charlotte. Which I think will be a little tough to get this trailer into, but you know what? I welcome the challenge. Take the yeah, I can't get this right. thing to go into gear. It's not wanting to do it. Although I've noticed with this uh, particular transmission, it's been tough for it to... Uh, there we go. To uh, stay... Whenever I'm changing the gear... I'll explain this in a second here. Just making sure we don't kill ourselves getting to the light. Um, whenever, when I'm uh, shifting up at 1500 RPM, it's like 100 or 200 RPM uh, to the next gear, which is weird because usually it's like, you know, a lot more than that. But I digress. So while we've been in quarantine, we've also, uh, we got uh, Rock Band 4. No, I'm, I'm a huge fan of Guitar Hero, and I was actually going to do Guitar Hero uh, live they have now, because we used to play all the Guitar Heroes, but I don't know, man. They changed up the guitar, and they have, like, the new thing going on with the six buttons, and I don't know about that. So we, we took a chance, and we were like, you know what? Let's, let's go with Rock Band, because we've both played that, and at least we'll know what we're getting into, you know? And I got to say, it's great. It's been awesome. Brings back the old feeling of Guitar Hero days. It's been a fun game to play. So that's what I've been doing in my free time. That's, uh, I've been playing this in VR. Use the left lane. Use the left lane. All right. It's gotta use a lot of RPM to downshift, but not as much RPM to go up, which is strange. That's a long green light, I was about to say. We'll, uh, we'll just sit here. I thought we were going to have the, the sun going down, but we didn't hit that much traffic coming into Charlotte, so. 
Unfortunately. I promise eventually, soon, we'll do, we'll do a night run. I know we haven't done one of those in a while. We're always driving during the day, so you guys can see a little bit more of what I'm doing. You know what? I'm thinking I should go straight and back around, because when I back this trailer into... Well, we'll have to see what uh, Prefab has set up for the garage. If it's the one that has the gas station little quadrant thing, or if it's the one that has the construction, I'm not sure. So we'll have to see it before we make a decision on how we want to back it in. But either way, we're going to have to back this hauler in from the street. There's just no getting around it. Man, that's a long light, isn't it? Feels like eternity. Yeah, see that is it's so high that that RPM, look at that, it was like a hundred difference there. I usually just go by the sound. Are we going through a little neighborhood here? That's what it looks like. Oh, there's people hanging out. Practicing social distancing. Hey! Hey! Get apart. Further than that. That's not proper. I didn't like to see that. All right, three low here, around the corner we go. Try not to curb this thing. I don't see any cars coming anyway, so. Oh yeah, we're fine. Fine on that. Pretty darn cool, man, this hauler is. Pretty schlick. Have a look in the outside view here of it rolling through this town. Great looking truck, man. I really enjoyed driving this one today. Hey, we got a school up here on the left. And I hear an airplane a whizzing by. Good looking truck. Oh, that's the sunset going down. That's another thing about uh, the graphics mod I use. I use the, the realistic uh, graphics mod by FRKN64. And uh, the evening time looks so good in it and we don't do it that often so we'll have to do a night run like i said i did download another car for a uh or a truck in this case for another road trip i got a dodge ram that actually is really nice oh that sound change underneath that tunnel is so good all right we have our spot coming up you know what it looks like there's a big gas station on the left up there let me get in this lane because if we might have to turn around let's see what the prefab is though on this okay it's facing that way oh I see how it is okay and it doesn't have a gas pump island so we're going to go into here, and uh, we'll turn around. Arrived. Because Arrived. we're going to have to back this thing in from the street. And we'll do it in this suicide lane. That'll work for me. Okay, let's bring this thing in here. Like this. Look at that trailer, man. It is a beast of a trailer. It really is. Uh, let's go back here. We'll turn around. I have an idea how we're going to do this. If there's a suicide lane there, we can use to back in to the uh, to the spot. It's a whole lot of trailer. Are we on uh, fuel? We're okay. I was like, well, we're here at the pumps. Might as well, all right? Went in Rome. I think I can get out on that road right there, but we'll just turn around here. There we go. Hey, it's that prefab that we left uh, when we, or this is the, yeah, this is the same exact prefab. There's that gas station there. We were on that side over there by the gas station uh, last time when we did the road trip in the Ford Focus. Okay, so we'll turn our headlights on here. 
and uh, flashers as well. We're going to need that because we are going to pull out into this suicide lane and just back it into this spot the best we can here. I got an idea. We'll, we'll do it out this way because I think that'll work for us. We'll see. And we'll have some traffic management while we're doing this. <laughs> All right. How are we looking over there? Our car's there, but they're not out yet. So we can come out here. Oh, we got plenty of time and room. Sweet. Swing this sucker this way. We're going back there in that hole. That's where we're going. So we'll get to where Holler is in the suicide lane. Where the trailer is. Wait for the car to go bye-bye. Alright, there's the Mustang. Don't need you. In our face. Alrighty, let's do it. Back the sucker in from, from the street. Get a nice angle to it here like that. There we go. Ooh, man. Yeah, that it will catch you out a little bit with the, uh, you know, that that gap in the axle. I don't want to hit any cars on that side. Just got to go back with it here. Watch that side. Okay, they're being patient with us, the car is. Kind of. They're still honking at us, but that's neither here nor there. Like that way. We want to get right up on that. Line it up with there. There we go. All right, we got a good back going now. Straight on back from there. Be right to that. We're looking good so far. Keep it going that way so we're not going to be up against this post. There's a one light. One lamp back there I'm watching. Straight back from here. We have to get up on the curb a little bit. There we go. In we come. Oh, hello. A little bit more gas than that. Oh, are we not in here? Oh, hello. Really? Well, let's try, um, let's try verse two. A little bit more oomph. Nope, doesn't like that. Let's try the uh, differential like they asked us to try. Let's see if we can get this thing to actually back up. There it goes. Yeah, I had to use the differential to get up that hill. That's strange. I normally don't have to do that. All right, now we can just back this sucker in this way. go watch that stuff on the right it's the construction prefab so it's got a bunch of crap there they're looking all right though okay we'll turn that off now don't need it on there's that crap right there gotta watch out for that yeah i know there's a curb back there it's okay it's a tight squeeze but it's doing it it is doing it there we go. Let's try not to hit anything on the way back. I think we should be clear on this side. If memory serves correct with this, this prefab. I don't think there's anything on the right since it's uh, just construction. There we go. Just line the straight back like that. Kill our flashes. Hey, well, we made it before the sun went down, and I figured that was going to be the case. I did, I did. All right. Parking brake there. And kill the engine. Go to the outside view here. And we will detach this thing. So they can now uh, do what they got to do to take the car off the hauler. They're going to put a different one on and then, and then they would go to Richmond. All right, folks. Well, that's going to do it for this episode of America Truck Simulator. Let me know what you thought in the comments below. Hope you guys are staying safe uh, and healthy. And I'll see you soon. Take care.